entire country of Ukraine pulling this rope alone? Uh, who are you? Meanwhile, now it's Russia who's alone. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, apparently one guy decided to randomly switch teams in this game of tug of war for like a day. Let's just hope this guy doesn't decide to change back anytime soon. All of Ukraine having a blast and rooting on as the Wagner Group takes on Russia. Again, that was just kind of like a weird 24 hours there. It was like they asked themselves for a day, should we do this whole thing again? And I guess they decided to not. Russia and NATO are natural enemies. Like Ukrainians and Russians. Or Polish and Russians. Or Finns and Russians. Or Russians and other Russians. Damn Russians. They ruin the Federation. You know, when listing all the rivalries Russia has, everyone always forgets to add Russia to that list. Russia is one of Russia's biggest enemies. Yo guys, new Russo-Ukrainian war Wikipedia box just dropped. We have Ukraine, obviously supplied by many places, versus their opponent, of course, that's Russia. Finns supported by... Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I think I can myself update this Wikipedia box here. It's gonna say supported by the Wagner Group for one day, and then they're probably gonna go back to the Russian side. June 24th, 2023 will be remembered, though. Just a weird time. Putin on state TV on February 24th, 2022, announcing the start of the three-day special military operation. Putin on state TV on June 24th, 2023, announcing that the mercenary group that they hired because they were losing is now invading them. What's funny is he literally looks the exact same. He actually looks younger on the right. Did he find some sort of fountain of youth? I think we can just chalk this up to bad lighting. A Chinese businessman bought a non-functional aircraft carrier from Ukraine, allegedly to use it as a floating hotel slash casino. It took more than four years to tow it back to China. Later, the Chinese government bought and modernized the carrier, making it its only aircraft carrier the Navy owns today. Yeah, Ukraine's reaction to this news must have been a little bit weird. Sounded like a good idea back in 1991, but uh, maybe not anymore, I guess. A screenshot from a Polish webpage explaining photo IDs or passports. This is the correct way to take the photo. Do not, under any circumstance, smile at all. Never change, Poland. I love that they add the caption, unnatural facial expression. This is the most Polish thing I've ever seen. Smile, Poland. The Russians are oofing each other right now. All of Poland responds, I am smiling. This is a much more natural way to smile, that's for sure. It's not like one of those unnatural facial expressions. Chileans are dwarves. They both live in mountains. Very traditional society. Love mining. Speak their own language. They despise blonde and tall people. Elves or Argentinians. It all makes sense now. I love how often Spanish from South America is pretty much defined as its own language at this point. I have a whole new view of this part of the world after reading that meme. The Chileans really are hiding in the mountains away from the elves. If I were a woman, I would fall in love with His Excellency. Thai General admits man crush on China's foreign ministry. Wang Yi. Average Thai diplomat, I'm guessing? I think I would agree. It definitely sounds like he likes Wang I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Am I? Can I? <laughs> can I? I love how this isn't even a meme. This is literally just a screenshot. Talk about a great title for an article. Polish voice actors on their way to make the worst dubbing ever. It's funny, I've never heard a Polish voice actor before, but why is it so easy to believe this? In English, we have... He's just saying the words. There is no voice acting. Is this how all the shows are like in Polish? This would instantly va- <laughs> This would instantly vaporize a British person. I don't think they'd have to put it in their mouth. They just have to look at it for 0.5 seconds. They just instantly, spontaneously combust. <laughs> if only we knew their weakness before. The Barbie dream house has mysteriously appeared in Malibu. OMG, so cute. Even got the Ken pool on deck. Meanwhile, the Oppenheimer PR team realizing they could do the funniest thing ever. I am become death destroyer of Barbie's dream house. I love how you can literally see just how hard it is for the PR team to not drop a 5,000 ton warhead right now. 24 hours later and then this happens. Nobody's putting gargoyles on buildings anymore. It can't be that much more expensive to slap a gargoyle up there. We used to be a proper country. Did we? I don't think the US ever did uh, gargoyles. Well, I guess I'm wrong. We have one in Atlanta, Georgia. They're just not like the gargoyles you expect like the ones in France. Oh, here's a cool one in Washington DC. What is he doing with that tongue? We do need to start building gargoyles again. I'm tired of this. What is even that, Canada? The Navy analyst that finished triangulating the weird noise the coastal microphone array picked up on Sunday right next to the wreck of the Titanic after identifying that it was the sound of a small submarine imploding. Yeah, that must have been pretty awkward. Like, did he just intentionally not tell us anything for a couple days? Maybe he just didn't have the heart in him to just crush us like that. It's just like, they'll find out eventually. I never thought I'd be fighting side by side with a Wagner. What about side by side with a friend? Go frick yourself. Uh, 
Uh, I definitely know they weren't ever fighting side by side, that's for sure. In fact, I think they might have still technically been fighting each other at the same time. Mexico and the USA in US movies. Meanwhile, Mexico and the USA in reality. This is the most hilarious meme. Believe it or not, Mexico is not actually under a sepia filter. However, a couple of weeks ago, it definitely looked like New York City was. And it was all thanks to Canadian fires. Finally, the tables have turned. The USA building their own submarine, small brain. The Canadians buying their submarines from other countries, slightly bigger brain. The Greeks buying your submarines with debt that you'll unlikely repay. And finally, there's the Albanians that let allies dock their submarines in your bases and then you steal them. Is that actually what's happening? Because that is genius. Why didn't we think of this before? Why go through all the trouble of making it yourself? Another dub for Albania. Markiplier giving his opinion area, about up here. the Balkans. All of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. I, it's oh. Like a visceral reaction of discontent coming from this I, Okay. Area. This area is not good either. <laughs> I hate this, but I'm mainly worried about it. Okay, this. really doesn't like Serbia. He doesn't especially like Greece or Albania, but it's, it's mainly a Serbia thing. Okay, got it, Mark. Thank you for that. You have two options. Address French people in French, but say directly that you can only speak English, or address directly but politely in English and expect aggressive Frenchmen. Pretty much everyone, whenever they vacation to France, okay, I have to admit in my own personal experience, Paris, there was no problem. You can speak English, everyone I think expects you to speak English and well, maybe not everyone, but they saw me and they're like, yeah, he's he's gonna speak some English. But yeah, going to the French countryside, um, I, I don't know. I'll let you find out. Let me know. Italians when a foreigner doesn't pronounce a type of pasta the Italian way versus Italians when they mispronounce everything in English. But have you ever thought maybe it's because they don't respect English? They do it intentionally. If I make a mistake in English, please don't correct me. I have no respect for this language. I love how he says it perfectly. No grammar mistakes whatsoever. Other languages, are you two mutually intelligible? Spanish saying no and Portuguese saying yes. This is actually really true, I did find out that it's easier for people that can speak Portuguese to understand Spanish than the other way around. I don't know if it has something to do with the accent or what's up with that. Me, when I realize no matter how hard I try, I will never be able to escape the presence of Wisconsin. This is literally how every American wakes up knowing that Wisconsin exists. They literally put cheese on their heads. Can you imagine that? This is what we have to deal with on a constant basis. Me, reading about laws passed in California that protects the bee population by classifying them as fish. So, this is the right outcome, but they still found a way to make it absurd. <laughs> Classic California. Always gotta put something that makes literally no sense. Why have we always made laws like that? It's like a tradition at this point. Europeans complaining about different types of sinks. We have this one. A little bit more fancy here with the two knobs. Meanwhile, the worst of the worst, uh, why? That doesn't even make sense. That just seems like a waste. I mean, I do like how obvious it is. Like, this is definitely gonna be hot. You probably don't really know what this is gonna bring you. Now, this is just a classic right here. How do they even install these? Meanwhile, I think they install them and then build the ocean around it. That makes the most sense, I think. We kind of just slurp up all that water, build these things, and then decide, okay, the water can go back. We're like, oh wait, we gotta build another oil rig real quick. Let's just get rid of all these oceans. Different types of students in a European classroom, we have Czechia, which is the nerd, and then Slovakia, which is the lazy one. I thought Czechia would be the drunk. Hungary, who is the teacher's enemy, meanwhile Poland, who's popular. They are kind of the cool popular kid. Croatia, which is the footballer, and Montenegro, which is the shy one. It makes, I've never heard them say a single word. Bosnia is the depressed kid, meanwhile Serbia is the problematic one. He's always getting himself in fights with other students or the teacher himself. Romania, who is obviously the goth, then Ukraine, who's the teacher's pet. Belarus is the millhouse, meanwhile Russia is the bully. Oh, is that why Serbia and Russia are friends? Albania is the gangster, and the Greeks never stop talking. Finally, Macedonia, who only goes to school to steal things. Meanwhile, Bulgaria is the Joker. You want to know how I got these scars? Who's Moldova then? They just kind of follow around the goth one, thinking they're besties. This would be quite the chaotic classroom. I would not want to be the teacher here. Just absolutely insane every day. Many world wars constantly happening. Germany's got to be the teacher. Finally, some non-Polish slander. Me, a Swede, wanting NATO, let me in, while Russia implodes, let me in. You would think that would be the perfect time time to get Sweden into NATO. Unfortunately, you kind of need, I think, is it Hungary and Turkey to explode? But yeah, Russia imploding just means there's, yeah, Sweden, you, you might be caught in the crossfire. Texans trying to eat something that doesn't give you diabetes just by looking at it. Yeah, they're not going to enjoy this very much, but, um, 
well, they'll, they'll at least give it a shot. But what's funny about this episode is doesn't Squidward basically get diabetes by the end? So much so that he explodes. According to Meet the Robinsons, Canada has been annexed and has become a huge state. This movie also shows that the future is a great utopia. Coincidence? I think not. How long are we gonna let them continue to play their little game up there in North America? It's only a matter of time before we annex them and just refer to them for the rest of their life as North Montana. Hopefully they enjoy their role playing for now. The whole world be like, are you two friends? The US says no, California says yes. That's pretty much how we roll. We, we're trying. We're, we're trying our, our best, but we're kind of the unpopular kid. The weird kid, definitely. Street names in Las Vegas. We have Arcade Fire Street, Snorlax Lane, Raiders Way, and Windy Butt Way. Is that but, but? Is it butter? Or I don't know. Meanwhile, street names in other American cities. Lone Pine Avenue, Jefferson Street, 3rd Avenue, Cherry Street. How boring. We all need to be more like Las Vegas. We definitely have a lot more things to talk about, that's for sure. Sure. And big thanks to the patrons. I am the kidnapper. I oofed Drew since no one paid his ransom. This channel's now North. run by AI. AI. Australia is I'm Argentina. Argentina. No. Twenty great dollars is a lot. Asher, Asher. two hundred. Norwich, Chester, Kiori, Tiny, Garland, the Nard, Kilwater, Isaiah, John, Denver, Five, Six, Ten, The Poor, the Wayne, and Commodore. Do we next? Why am I doing this? 